Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title today, I am doing my hair tutorial. This has been one of the most requested videos I think I've ever been asked to do. Um, I did one probably a year or two ago, which I will link below um, if you do want to go and see it. But not a lot's changed since then, but my hair's got a lot longer. My hair was sort of jaw length in that video. Um, it's grown quite a bit now. I recently had it cut the other day, so it's looking quite nice and blunt. So I thought it would be the perfect time to come on here and show you how I do my hair. This video is kindly sponsored by Ice Hair Professional, which is a hair care brand. They do silk pillowcases, hair tools, all sorts. I will link their website down below so you can go and check them out. So they sent me their super fast hair dryer and I am in love with this. I can tell you straight away. I've used this for, I'm going to say, 7 to 10 days and I wash my hair every single day. Occasionally I will miss a day, but generally I wash it every day um, and this has sped my hair drying time up so much I can't believe I've been struggling with my other hair dryer for so many years. I didn't even know about this um, But they just emailed and said would I like to try one and I was just like yes, definitely anything to do with hair care I'm all over so I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. So this is the hair dryer it's so lightweight that's the first thing i want to stress that this is amazing i always struggle with my other hair dryer because it's so heavy and because i've got such thick hair it takes ages to dry and by the end of it my arm is always aching but i don't get that with this it looks super sleek really stylish it looks nice on the dressing table it does exactly what it says on the tin it dries your hair super fast got different settings on the side you've got a hot and cold switch at the top I love a cold setting on a hair dryer because I just find it makes your hair really sleek and smooth it's got like a cool setting next setting up is like a warm wind and then it's uh, like a hot wind at the top that's what I use like initially and then I'll work my way down to the cool setting to use this. I love that it's white. So many hair dryers are black, aren't they? It's just different to have a white one. So that is the bulk of it. That is your hair dryer. And then you've got different attachments. So you've got the wide mouth attachment. Let me show you this. It's flat on the one side and then it's got like these little teeth on the other side and they just slip on so easily. Just pop them on and twist them and it's locked in place when my hair's like almost dry i will use this to sort of make it sleek um, and dry it downwards because i dry my hair straight so you've got your wide mouth one and then you've got your narrow mouth which looks exactly the same but it's just a narrower end to it i don't know if you can tell this is the wide one this is the narrow one i generally use the narrow one more and then for you curly hair girls you get a diffuser I haven't actually used the diffuser because I don't have curly hair. My hair is dead straight, so I'm not sure whether it would work, but I do need to try this out and see if I can kind of get a bit, a bit more of a wave to my hair. Um, but yeah, for you curly girls, it comes with a diffuser as well. It dries your hair three times faster than a normal hair dryer, but you can't really get the gist of how fast it dries my hair on camera. I'm going to show you how fast it is like against a bowl of water, so you get the idea of how fast the airflow is, but... Yeah, this is the hair dryer. I'm going to show you how I use it. I'll show you the different styling products I use to achieve this look. And I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. I've washed my hair. I've just got it in a microfiber towel so it doesn't dry it too much. Um, I use the Regken Acidic Bonding Shampoo. It's in like a white bottle. Switch between that and the Philip Kingsley like Volume Booster. I'll link them below um, what shampoos I use. I just switch between them through the week. And then generally once a week I will do a Philip Kingsley um, Elasticizer Mask. If you've got blonde hair it is an absolute godsend. I use that and I use Olaplex number no. 3 I think it is. Um, but yeah like I said I will link everything that I mention in this video in the description box. I'm just going to take it down and show you what products I use on it. Oh that doesn't look great is it? <laughs> Let me just brush this out. I just use a tangled teaser on it when it's wet. I find it just gets rid of the knots so well. I usually part my hair in the middle, but when I had it dyed the other day, my hairdresser did like a side parting. Just move you down a bit. And I quite like it, except I can never part it as well as she did. I get a lot of questions of what I asked for at the hairdressers. And it's literally, I just get a balayage refresh because I've been getting balayage for couple of years on and off I guess so I don't need it like redoing every time I just get a refresh but I'd say if you're getting this for the first time just ask for balayage and a blunt 
cut, I get it all cut the same length. So the first thing I use is the Philip Kingsley Bomb Builder. I love this. If you suffer from split ends, it's really good. Just take a couple of pumps of that. Focus it more towards the front of my hair. That's where I get the most breakage. But on the ends as well. Not in that bad condition though, to be fair. I think because I do buy more expensive products and try and treat it like I treat my skincare pays to spend a little bit extra on your shampoo and conditioner so if you're still using shampoo and conditioner from supermarkets then you need to stop that <laughs> i always thought it was just a way of trying to sell you extra at the hairdressers but ever since i've been using more expensive hair products i've noticed such a difference so it does work they're not just trying to upsell everything and and then i use the philip kingsley daily damage defense so this is like a heat protectant um, leaving conditioner kind of thing. I just spray it in and I just take my comb and brush it all through. I'm not going to blow dry my hair because I haven't got a clue how to do that. I'm going to blast it dry because it dries it so quick and blast it dry and then style it with the straighteners and my curlers. First off I just put it on the hottest setting and blast it dry. <laughs> closer to the end and it's sort of blasted dry I put one of their nozzles on which sort of helps it dry a bit smoother when it's almost dry I go in with the cool setting and just sort of set everything in place and I think the cold sort of seals the hair follicle, if I'm correct. Any hairdressers out there do correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the same. I think it's the same with like steaming your face and then doing like a cold flannel to sort of close the pores. I think it's the same sort of concept. So I love that this has got a cold setting. It's one of my favorite things about it. <laughs> how smooth and shiny has left my hair I mean my hair's pretty straight I haven't really got much wave to my hair smoothing attachments are just so good and for blonde hair it looks pretty healthy and shiny and it's thanks to this because it never looks like this when I dry it with my other hair dryer it looks totally different um, so yeah it's so shiny and smooth I mean I could go out with this hair and it wouldn't really bother me I mean I prefer to go out with it styled with my curlers and stuff but to me, that's really smooth and sleek, and it sanks to this. It does say as well that it dries hair three times faster than like your average hair dryer. So if you're lazy like me and you hate drying your hair, then you need one of these in your life. It's just a godsend. I cannot recommend it enough. I'll insert some clips of some stylists using it as well. Just see how quick it really is to dry. Thank you so much to Ice Hair Professionals for sponsoring that segment of the video. I'll leave the product linked in the description box. Make sure you go and check it out. They've got loads of stuff on their website. They've got really nice silk pillowcases as well. I use a silk pillowcase and I think it does help with kind of breakage in my hair. They make a really nice gift, a silk pillowcase as well. I feel like every girl needs one. I'm going to get cracking with the styling of my hair. It's dried pretty straight, but I'm just going to run the straightness through it just to get rid of some of the like bulkiness of the back and then I will show how I curl it which is the most requested thing in the world and honestly there's not a lot to it it's so easy so I have to section my hair off to style it because it's so thick and um, so I'm just going to run the straightness through this is so self-explanatory you all know how to straighten your hair um, I don't do it any different to anyone else I just like to get kind of like up by the root a bit straighter because that is where I will get a bit of a wave. So I'm just going to carry on and go around and do this in layers. I usually do it in about three sections, so it doesn't take long. I get asked on Instagram so much to do a hair tutorial, so I thought I'd just do it on here, um, make it easy for everybody to come and find. So 
there is not a lot to it. Like I said, I'm not a hairdresser. I'm sure every hairdresser watching this will be cringing. Um, but this is how I do it. This is how I achieve like easy beachy waves. Not much has changed from the last video. I'll link that down below. But obviously my hair is a lot longer. My old hair was like this short. So it took a lot less time. Um, and I feel like as it's a bit longer, the curl does fall out a bit more. When it was shorter, it used to hold the curl a lot easier. Um, maybe it's because of the weight now, it kind of pulls it down. Anyway, let's get on to it. I'm just going to section it off. It's the same way I did when I was straightening it, but I do it in four layers. Again, you probably don't need to do that if your hair's not as thick as mine. So I just take sort of inch, would you say that was an inch? Inch thick pieces. I start right at the back of my neck and I use a curling barrel. I think this is can't remember the size of this. We'll link this down below as well. I think it's a 25 mil barrel or a 30 mil barrel. I can't remember, but I'll show you better when I get around the front. I just put it on top of the hair and then bring the hair up and over on the first layer and then hold it for about four or five seconds. It just creates a really nice loose curl. And I just slide it out, hold it for a minute, and then let it go. And that is the curl it creates. The bigger the barrel, the looser the wave, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> when I get to the front of my hair, I don't hold it on as long because that's where I've got the most like heat damage. I do hold the curl a bit when I pull the curlers out and it sort of sets it. I was going to carry on and curl the bottom layer and then I will come back to you. And we'll do the next layer. Every time I finish a layer, I put some hairspray on. Personally, I don't think you need to spend an arm and a leg on hairspray. I think it's all the same. It's just a watery glue, isn't it? I don't, I don't think they differ that much. Other than the smell, I don't particularly like the smell of this one, but it's just the one I picked up and it lasts for ages. So it's just a silk crin. Silver crin? Well, a one. Um, just does the job. I don't think you need to get too fancy on hairspray. Don't brush the curls out, leave them until you've done the whole head of hair. Sorry about the outside noise, there's builders, there's planes going over, there's bins being emptied. It's a right racket but I can't do my hair with a window closed because I will be one sweaty mess. <laughs> so when I do the sides I take the curl around the back of my head and put it face the hair and then wrap the hair over the top. And then I leave about an inch out at the end because I don't want it curly all the way to, to the bottom. I want it to kind of look semi-natural. And then slide the curler out and hold it there for a sec. And then let it drop. And then same again, take it round the back, put the curl over the top and leave a bit out at the end. Hold it. And then again, round the back and over the top. And don't leave this bit so long because it's quite broken, this part of my hair. And if, it, if they're looking too curly, I do tend to kind of pull on them a bit. That one was a bit curly. And then, same again the other side. Is anyone bored yet? <laughs> again, just over the top of the head, put the curler behind the piece of hair and wrap it up and over. I do do all my curls away from my face. I know people like to mix it up. Um, I just find it doesn't really work very well for me. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't do it with the straighteners. I do it with a wand. Um, but yeah, I guess just do what works for you. The amount of times I've burnt myself on this curler. I had a great big scab on my forehead a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> just right, It was like seven in the morning. I was curling my hair and just rested it on there. And it was just like tss. I could feel my skin blistering. That is the second layer. I'm just getting my hairspray out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the third layer off camera, and then I'll come back to you and show you how I do the top layer. Sorry if you can hear the bin lorries, they're so loud. Um, right, onto the final layer. Now, on this one, it's kind of got a bit matted from keep from when I keep tying it up. So just brush through the roots, I don't want to bother with the ends because it'll pull all the rest of the curls out attractive <laughs> and then I start right at the back like the crown of my head and pull up a couple of inches like that and then I put the curler underneath 
pull it quite tight and then wrap round and leave that for a little bit longer, maybe like five or six seconds. Let it drop just so I know like the back has got some form of curl pattern to it and then I'll go around to the side and then literally just do exactly the same as I have for the whole head. Curling away from my face all the time. Holding it a little bit longer on the top just because that is going to be the layer that you're going to see. It doesn't really matter about the bottom layers. Obviously this looks really curly but like I said I will brush it all out. I grab bigger sections on the top as well between like two to three inches um, and then I will brush that out and then go over it sounds really fussy and long-winded but it's not really not once you get the hang of it um, go back over and then curl little sections just where I want a little bit more definition I hope this is making sense I mean that looks ridiculously curly but missed a bit here And then the front piece, whether I want it that big, curl that little bit. It's all trial and error really. It looks different every day. I can never get it to look the same every day. Some days it looks really bad. Other days it looks more put together. I'm one of those people that has to wash my hair every day because I hate the look of it on like day two. Occasionally, if I'm really busy and I haven't got the time to wash my hair, I will let it get to day two, but any longer than that, it's just a greasy mess. Um, it just doesn't look nice. I love the freshly washed curl look. So that's the front, and then go back round to the back. Feel where the last curl was. And then do exactly the same this side. I'll speed this bit up so it doesn't bore you to tears. I'm aware that looks absolutely ridiculous <laughs> but this is for the magic part now you need a wide tooth comb this one's from um, Palomino I love their combs they're so cool and then I just literally slowly pull through it all and this is what's going to give the undone look. Now bear in mind it will drop more. It's not going to stay as curly. And then when I've done that I will just literally go back in and see if there's any bits I've missed or there's places where I want a little bit definition, a bit more definition. Um, and then just give them a bit of a tweak. You probably don't need to do this if you've got fine hair or thin hair, but because mine's so weighty, I need to go back in and... Or like if the front's not as wavy as I like it, that bit's not right, I don't like that at all. Um, I'll just go back in and a bit more curling. I like it to sort of frame my eye like there and then go out at my chin. Sounds weird, but it's what you get used to, isn't it? And I've got a straight bit here. It does take a long time to do, I'm not going to lie. You need patience. But once you've got it down, you can fly through it. So happy with that side. Oh, that side looks pretty decent, to be fair. A bit lumpy there. So when you're happy with it, I just run my fingers through it, use the wide tooth comb, just have a bit of a play with it. But now at this stage I usually run a bit of oil through the ends but I have run out of it. Um, I usually just use like a bit of argan oil or Moroccan oil or something like that but I've only got my hairspray I've run out so I need to buy some. That is the finished look and then I just hairspray and that is it, my easy waves if you're on like day two or day three hair and you don't mind that this is the point where i put like dry shampoo through the roots and at the back yeah i hope you enjoyed that guys i hope it helps but yeah that is how i style my hair um any questions 
let me know below and I will answer everybody as always. I will link every single product I used in the description box. Make sure you check out this hair professionals because they've got loads of hair care stuff on their website. If you need a new hair dryer, be sure to pick that one up. You will not regret it. I absolutely love it. I can't believe how quickly it dries my hair. It's insane. Thank you so much to Ice Hair Professional for sponsoring this video. It's because of sponsors like that and you guys that I'm able to do this for a living. So thank you so much. It means the absolute world. I hope you're all well, taking care of yourselves, and I will see you in my next video. James Bushel. I've been in the industry now, the hairdressing industry for 26 years. Just received my new Ice Hair Pro hair dry. First thing I noticed, fantastic packaging. Looks quality, you know, looks count. It's always first impressions. So we've got a diffuser in here, which you know for the curly hair. Obviously we've got the larger nozzle and the small nozzle, my favorite. Nice and small so we can direct that heat for the clients. I just want to compare some hair dryers that we've got. This is our normal standard hair dryer that we use day to day. Gets the job done, becomes extremely noisy in the salon. Quite heavy, a lot heavier than what I'm about to show you. But generally, they're okay. They do the job, they don't break that often. I'm gonna start drying the hair, start blasting the hair so you can hear the volume of this. So when you want to engage, with your clients and this hair dryer's going and you've got someone next door to you who's also talking and the hair dryer's going it's very difficult to have a great conversation so in comparison we're going to now use this new ice hair pro hair dryer you can hear let alone feel the the weight difference in these hair dryers and you, as you know if you, if you do your hair you've got long hair you do it yourself or in the salon your arms do become a bit tired um, so the, the weight difference is phenomenal it takes a bit of getting used to in comparison if you've been using another hair dryer for a long time but once you've used it a few times like me you're never going to go back you just listen to the sound this is a brushless motor if you're wondering like me how a hair dryer so small and weightless can do the work of one of the bigger hair dryers. You're in for a big surprise, truly. So if you have a look at it, it's got your three heats there and your cools there. But if you want a quick cool shot, press that, set the hair, hold it on for maybe 10 seconds as you would, and then release it. Gives that bit more of a hold. You can have a look how it just smooths out the hair, as you'd want takes away all the frizz. Definitely dried it a lot quicker. It definitely created a lovely finish naturally. Um, Definitely a lot lighter, and if you know yourselves back to back, big hair in the salon, be even at home if you're doing it yourself, it's a lot more open. The weight of it is a different thing, it does what it says on the tin. What was your, um, your thoughts? I think the hair dries great, my hair feels so lovely now, very soft. Um, I love the, the bounciness to it, really nice, thank you.